The first thing that you need to do is either Google Adobe Spark or go to spark.adobe.com. Once you're there, you need to log in, create a login with your Google account. And then click with your Google account. Make sure that you're signing in with your district account. You're going to get a pop-up box for just general terms of service. You're going to agree to that. And if you don't want more things to come into your inbox, make sure that you turn this off. And then your welcome window should look like this. The first thing that we need to do is we need to basically tell the program what we're looking to do. So we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom because we're going to start from scratch. So with Adobe Spark, you can do web pages, videos, or graphics. We're just going to focus on graphics. So click create a graphic on the left hand side. And then you're just going to pick from a template. Remember you're using an Instagram template so it's square. And you're going to be using words. So this one right here in the featured is perfect. It uses an icon and simple words which is what you're going to be doing. Once you get to this, you are ready to go. As you get pop-ups, make sure that you read them. So now you're ready to edit. You're going to have the text that you want to change. So the first thing that you're going to do up here is you're going to click on this text, double click, and you will be able to edit it. And this is where you're going to put your word. Once you have your word, you can go over here on the right hand side, you're going to see text styles. You can change the font under Font Family. You can change the placement of the font underneath Font Family and under Size is where you change the scale of the font. Because this is for something that's going to hang on the wall, you need to make sure that you make your font a decent size. You can also play with the spacing. If you want to change the color, you can go all the way over to the right hand side and click color. It will suggest colors for you but you can also change it. I can change my image right up here with click. Yep, I got it. I can duplicate my image if I want to do that. So this up here, the plus sign is for duplicate. I can also get rid of it by hitting the garbage can. I need a little bit more room, so I'm going to go ahead and delete it. And I need to add the definition. So I'm going to go up to my top right hand corner and I'm going to say I need to add text. So this is where I put my definition. I have Grammarly on, so it's automatically just checking spelling and words. So this is where my second word pops up. Again, I can change my font here. I'm going to have a lot of words, so I might want to not have it so big. Maybe not all caps, so I might want to change it. I need to make sure that it's legible from far away.
And then the last thing I need to do is I need to add an icon. So you go up to the top right hand side, click add an icon. And you need to make sure that your icon is something that's going to make sense with the word. So luckily when I searched this, I was able to get something that would tie into it directly. Sometimes you might want to read that definition and look for keywords within that that might help you. So I click on it and it will go right in there. I can also come back on the right hand side. I can change the color of it. Again, we want it to stand out. This will change the layout of my elements. What I had before was simple. Once I have nothing selected, I can go in and change the entire color scheme and it's set up. Since it's a box, it will always come up and I can pick those color schemes. Again, this is when nothing was selected. Once I have what I'm looking for, I'm going to go down and hit download. Oops. Before I hit download, I'm going to make sure that I name my project. So title it with your word. And put your initials behind it. Then it will save automatically in your Spark. And then you're going to hit download. Make sure that it pops up as a JPEG. Notice the title is the same. And I'm going to hit save. Now I have that JPEG. It's ready to turn into Classroom.